If you're a Tool fan, you've probably heard the news by now. Their new album, Fear Inoculum, has leaked online five days ahead of schedule. But this particular leak has much more of a story than your average internet album leak. It begins early on Friday the 23rd when an unboxing video of the album's deluxe edition makes its way onto YouTube. The video depicts a child opening up the album and it was believed by many at first to be the child of Tool's guitar player Adam Jones. This theory went out the window, however, when the unboxing video was taken down by a copyright claim. Although, as some have pointed out, it would be the label taking down the video and not the band itself, meaning that Adam Jones could very well have been behind the video. Either way, it was clear that this thing was tightly locked up and they didn't want a single detail getting out about it. And the next day, August 24th, retailers begin receiving their copies of the album preparing for the week's release. And you had a few eager Amazon employees posting pictures to Reddit trying to show off where of course some other Redditors tried to coax them into leaking the album. Consider the following. Your job is irrelevant and will be replaced by fully automatized robots in the near future. It's dead end and does not really give you a chance to get you promoted, plus you're working for the literal Babylonian hyper-capitalist slave company run by a bold sociopath. You don't lose anything by stealing it or ripping it. Just a suggestion. You know, nothing personal or pushy. Just a suggestion. None of these employees were convinced, of course, perhaps for fear of losing their job or worse legal repercussions from the band or their label. But that all changed later on that night at approximately 11 p.m. Eastern Time. That was when a man who would later become known as the Chosen One appeared, a user named Circle of Nine. I might be able to get this for you guys in the next two hours. Circle of Nine was a Target employee who was promising what that morning's Amazon employees refused to, to deliver the goods. But by that point, everyone had already seen plenty of pictures of the album, and it just could be another guy yanking everybody's chain. And even if he wasn't, two hours is a lot of time to convince yourself not to do something that you probably shouldn't do. But then, Circle of Nine's shift ends, and he posts this. Guys, I fucking have it. That ain't no target floor. That's a car. So it's pretty simple. Circle of Nine drives home, rips the album, uploads it, and it's game over, right? Well, not quite. You see, Circle of Nine couldn't quite figure out how to rip the album. The drive on his laptop wasn't working, and his desktop didn't even have any kind of disk drive because, you know, it's 2019, who even has physical media anymore, right? And then I could have very well ended there, Circle of Nine could sit down and enjoy the album by himself, drowning out the screams of Redditors calling him a fraud. But if that's what happened, we wouldn't be here. Because you see, Circle of Nine was the chosen one. He was the one destined to deliver the album. So not ready to give up yet, he makes another post. Somebody in Vegas, fucking help. And somebody responded, Brisnich, dude, we are here for you, what you need. Come to the Mirage, right now. We are here waiting for you, OP, bring that shit. The Mirage, that's in Vegas. Drive, OP, drive like you've never driven before. You come here, we rip that shit, end of story. We have computers, the world loves you forever. Sounds great, right? Come here now. Stop questioning what you know is right and come here, now. And finally, Circle of Nine responds, I'm on my way, how do I find you? And thus, Circle of Nine began his journey to the Vegas Strip. And at this point, Reddit was still pretty skeptical, I mean, it's not unheard of for a couple of guys to get together on Reddit, bounce a few messages back and forth, and pretend to be doing something that they're not really doing. Reminds me a little bit of some kids in a hard drive, yeah? Would somebody really drive all the way across Las Vegas to leak an album that they already had in their possession for free, all while putting himself at great risk, not just, you know, legal risk, but because what kind of weirdo is out there inviting strange Redditors to their hotel room late at night? But some time passes, and Circle of Nine posts this. On my way to Mirage. Now shut the fuck up about this being fake. And there it is. The Strip. We're getting close. We are... All in. And a little while later, Circle parks his car, takes the album, and makes his way into the Mirage. Waiting for friends. And then, his friends would arrive. 
Circle of Nine makes his way up to Brisnich's hotel room in the Mirage on the Las Vegas Strip, where he rips the files from the album. Circle of Nine and Brisnich say their goodbyes, Circle gets back in his car, and drives home after a long, long night. But, the files didn't make it online. Time was passing, and the people were getting restless. Can you give us some more info about what went down? A guy grabbed a display case, not the actual CD, and proceeded to troll the sub for over two hours. And Circle of Nine himself was starting to panic. I'm sorry. Don't know what the holdup is, I'm not involved anymore. My CD drive didn't work on my laptop, and my pre-built gaming PC didn't come with one. I'm waiting for this just like you guys. If it doesn't happen, I'm sorry I let everyone down. I'm fucking terrified now. I haven't even been able to enjoy the CD my damn self. Too much going on in my head. So does you slash Brisnich have the files? Who? Check again. He gone. Yep. The Reddit user Brisnich, who Circle of Nine drove all the way across Las Vegas to bring the CD to, deleted his account. Without uploading any of the damn files. So what was this guy's game? Did he just want to keep the files for himself? Maybe auction it off to the highest bidder? Was this entire story a ruse from the beginning, just like Secret HDD? Did Circle of Nine actually just grab a display case? Well, no. Circle of Nine would then come to debunk this particular claim with this post. People still don't believe. God, I'm so stressed out. And there it is, the contents of Tools Fear Inoculum Packaging. And with a sigh, Circle of Nine decides to try one more time. Is there anybody fucking else in Las Vegas? Round two, baby, let's go! But there's no need. Before Circle of Nine could get back in his car to drive all the way across Vegas to meet yet another online stranger, Brisnich, wherever he was, came through. The album made its way onto the internet in places that I won't tell you because I would never encourage such illegal behavior. But rest assured that that night, Circle of Nine became an internet legend. But if you ask him what happened, dude got a hold of a CD but couldn't work a fucking computer lol. What a scrub. Someone else got the CD, Circle wasn't involved anymore, music very good. But I think it's really this post by B says that puts it best. Sometimes I think music's lost its magic. Then things like complete strangers bonding by being hunched over a computer for a Las Vegas tool heist to come to fruition, and it all comes flooding back. We are all maniacs. And thus concludes the great fear inoculum escapade. If you like this video, you'll also like my video about the guy who pretended to be Mike Portnoy of Dream Theater to rob people. I'm out.